Finally, after more than a year, St. Kitts will be receiving its first cruise ship, marking a resumption of the cruise shipping industry. The Seaborne Odyssey will dock at South Friars Bay off the coast of Carambola Beach Club on Thursday morning, marking the first ship to come since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. But it comes with a lot of restrictions. No one will be allowed access to the premises to have any contact with visitors or even to get a glimpse at the ship. Strict protocols will be applied. In a notice from the St. Kitts Tourism Authority earlier this week, the public is told that access to Carambola will be restricted or limited to mitigate any risk or interaction with international cruise visitors. Visitors will only explore the destination by fully vaccinated, travel-approved bubble tours. Local tourism employees interacting with cruise ship passengers, including but not limited to ship agents, port staff, taxi and tour operators, are required to be fully vaccinated. Passengers and crew are not permitted to interact with the general population. Tour operators are only allowed to transport cruise passengers from the dispatching site directly to the attraction and after the tour, directly back to the ship. The following attraction sites or tours will not be accessible to the general public during the hours of 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on the cruise ship day. Brimstone Hill Fortress and National Park, Carambola Beach Club, Carbel Batik, and the St. Kitts Scenic Railway. A plaque exchange ceremony, initially planned for Thursday morning after the ship arrived, has been cancelled. Meanwhile, Tourism Minister urges patience on the part of stakeholders, especially the stores at Port Zante, as unlike under normal circumstances, they will not benefit directly from the arrival of this ship due to the travel bubble that will exist. Another ship is coming later this month, the Celebrity Summit, which will dock at Port Zante. But again, a travel bubble will restrict access to the stores at Port Zante, depriving the store owners and vendors an opportunity to earn. Tourism Minister Lindsey Grant cautioned that the return of cruise tourism to St. Kitts and Nevis is going to be slow. Well, we had a, uh, meetings with the merchants last week. They're very understanding also. We indicated to them that they have to give us a, a, a test period of about three, four ships. After that, we go back to the drawing board and to see how we can cordon off, um, make Port Zante a bit more secure in a, in a bubble too, so that they too can partake in some of the economic activity that's being driven by the arrival of the cruise ships. We are hoping that we, we, we are seeing light now at the end of, of the tunnel and, and that we can bring back the in industry to some state of normalcy and at the level that it was prior to COVID. Some pundits like Siobhan Richards in a previous interview with SK Newsline suggests looking away from cruise and to more sustainable forms of tourism. I'm not convinced that cruise tourism is coming back on the level that they think. So there, it's like they're saying we're holding them hostage and stuff, but the cruise tourism is going to come back more in a trickle form before it comes back to what it was. What you're going to do between there, you've already invested all this money, yes? You've already lost money for a year. So, you know, a lot of people are going back into it with this hope that it's just going to be how it was. It's not going to be that way. You're not going to be making the profits you were making before. How are you going to deal with that? This comes down to a personal decision even in your business. So we have to now figure out ways to make up for that loss. The nation waits to see how this cruise bubble will work and how soon cruise tourism will return to a semblance of normalcy. I'm Andre Huey reporting for SKN Newsline.